Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We are just going to wait a minute so we can let everybody get into the webinar and we will get started shortly. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning for those of you that have joined us. We will be getting started shortly. We're just waiting a moment uh, for everyone to join the webinar that will be joining us this morning and then we will get started. Thank you. All right, we are going to go ahead and get things kicked off this morning. Thank you so much for joining us for our 2022 HCPS Virtual College Boot Camp. We are so excited that you're here. Thank you for being here with us this morning. We have a lot of great things to share with you over the course of the week. My name is Mrs. Edwards. I am the career counselor with Atlee High School. And I'm just going to take a moment to allow our other career counselors that are here with us this morning to introduce themselves as well. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mrs. Corbin, and I'm the career counselor at Hanover High School. Good morning. I'm Allison Bolander. I'm the career counselor at Mechanicsville High School. Good morning. I'm Jennifer Crowder, and I am the career counselor at Patrick Henry High School. Thanks, guys. So uh, with that, we are actually going to kick off our week with really a kickoff agenda. So we want to walk you through kind of what the week is going to look like, what it entails, and then of course, uh, have any questions that you might have at the end of today. But again, just a brief kickoff to walk you through the week. So again, thank you for joining us for our virtual college boot camp. This week will run through uh, Monday, August 15th through Thursday, August 18th. We've got lots of great content and information to share with you. And each day this week, Monday through Wednesday, we will have a uh, live virtual session that you can join. It will start at 10 a.m. each day and end at approximately 10.45 a.m. Um, and also each day we are recording, as you can see, each session, and we will be sending out that recording the very next day for those that couldn't join us live for our virtual session. So I'm going to walk you through just the first couple of days, and then Ms. Corbin's going to take over and walk you through the next couple of days that we have for this week. So first and foremost, of course, you're here at our live kickoff session. Really today, again, is just to walk you through what the week's going to look like. And then we're also going to share some important information with you about the college checklist for each of our high schools and kind of what that process looks like. Um, and then each afternoon, you can see Monday, August 15th, released in PM, each afternoon we're going to be releasing different resources for you for the college admissions process. Um, and so you can see today we'll be releasing in the afternoon, building your college list using Big Future through College Board, and then a parchment registration video, which really just walks you through how to order transcripts. Um, and then tomorrow, Tuesday, join us again at 10 a.m. if you can for a live virtual session on the college admissions essay writing process. Um, and so that we will have Randolph Macon College, a wonderful college admissions representative joining us for that, kind of walking us through what the essay writing process, tips and tricks and things like that. If you don't wanna miss that, we will record it, send it out the following day as well. And then we'll be releasing those two uh, resources tomorrow afternoon 
the College Jumpstart video, which is really, we recorded this last spring. Um, and so it's, it's very current. And we have a number of different college uh, panelists that joined us, representatives sharing information, tips and tricks for the college admissions process. And then uh, we'll be releasing the top five most important parts of the college admissions uh, college application process. And so that's another video as well that we'll be sharing with you. Um, and also, I just want to mention that throughout today, throughout this week, while we're on these virtual sessions, you do have the option to put um, chat, uh, any kind of questions you might have in the chat. We will address them throughout uh, each session. Um, either during the session or if it's more applicable to just address at the end of the session of the day, we'll do that as well. So please feel free to do that. Um, and Ms. Corbin, I'll let you take over. Thank you. So Wednesday, we will have a live session in the morning on financial aid scholarships and money saving tips. So this is a very important session for everyone to join. We will be sharing information about our scholarships um, here in Hanover County um, and where to look for scholarships, all of that great information and resources for you. Uh, we also have our guest speakers from GRASP joining us talking about the financial aid process and the FAFSA. Um, and we'll have our guests from Reynolds Community College also sharing information about the financial aid process, about student loans, um, about the work study programs, all types of different information that might be relevant for you as you're looking through ways to save money for college. Uh, we will be sharing in the, in the afternoon information about how to complete the Common App application, the Common Black College App application, and Coalition application. So there'll be instructional videos for all of those. We also will be sharing out information about Major Clarity, which is our career building platform that we have here in Hanover County and all of our students have access to. On Thursday, we will be having an in-person event here at Hanover High School, where I am, um, for uh, mini college and career summer expo. So we will have exhibitors from colleges. We will also have um, exhibitors that are representing different businesses in the area um, that have different opportunities for our students. So whether you are a student who is looking for college resources um, or looking for maybe a job out of high school, we will have somebody there for you to talk to. So make sure you come, come ready with your questions and we will love to see you there. It is 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then in the afternoon, we'll be sharing out more college planning resources and make sure we have all of our videos up for the week um, by next week. We will make sure we have all those links out for you. Okay, so sharing with you guys who have not seen this before, um, our Virtual Career Center, most of our students have seen this um, throughout our career lessons, have seen this link out on Schoology, um, but this is our Career Center that just has all the links that you might need for your college planning or career planning uh, purposes. We have links to all the websites here, Big Future is a great one by College Board to search for colleges. Our scholarship opportunities links are in here. We have a links to Reynolds Community College, Major Clarity, which I mentioned previously, military information, the ASFAB, if you're thinking about joining the military or just want another career exploration route, the FAFSA form, if you're applying for financial aid. We also have a link here to our YouTube page. This is where all of our videos will be housed from this event, as well as all of our videos from previous years live here on our YouTube page. So make sure you know where to find that. Um, we also have some hidden links in here to different resources. So we have some you know, interview tips if you go to the chair. Um, so there's some different fun little websites in here. Um, this is our senior handbook, which we're gonna talk through in just a minute that lives here on the page as well. And then if you were interested in um, attending any college visits, this year or career cafe events, you could sign up to this website as well. And we will put the bit.ly link in the chat for this career center. And I'm gonna hand this over to Ms. Crowder so she can take the next slide. All right. So as we're as you're getting started with the college search and the college application process, a really great resource that we've put together for you 
is the senior handbook for 20, the class of 2023. So Ms. Corbin's gonna um, click, it on, click on it and show you. This handbook is extensive. It's got a lot of very valuable information that we've gathered and put in here. And it is a handbook that's used throughout the county. So it is not necessarily um, just for Patrick Henry or Atlee or McCansville. It's actually for everyone within the county, but we have very school specific information in here. So I just kind of want to go through the table of contents with you. Um, we, like I said, we have school counseling department information with all of the um, links and information about who to contact for what. Um, we have a calendar of events, which just kind of gives you an idea of what to be expecting as you're going through your senior year. We have our counseling information in there so you can contact us, as well as some information about Major Clarity, um, which, as Ms. Uh, Corbin said, is the career platform that we use. It also goes through lots of all of the different post-secondary options that we have, um, including military, uh, two-year college, four-year college, and going into the workforce. Thinking about college, there's a college checklist, which is used as a guide. It's not to overwhelm anyone and say, you must do this by this date, but it really is a great guide to kind of give you an idea of what to expect as you go through this process. We have information on college testing, um, scholarship information, <clears throat> and just all of this information that we're gonna kind of go through today is all housed within this very extensive handbook. So make sure that you bookmark this and you have it as you meet with your school counselor. Um, they're gonna be meeting with you um, this year by, by October 15th. Um, they're gonna go over this with you too, but make sure you have this link bookmarked as you get started because it is a wealth of information. Ms. Corbin's kind of scrolling through and showing you everything. <laughs> it's a lot. So the other thing is if you do, if you have an IEP or a 504 plan and you're planning on going to a four-year or a two-year college, you want to make sure that before you graduate, you have a copy of your plan um, with you. Um, you can request that from your case manager. The reason why we say to have it, colleges never ask if you have an IEP or a 504 plan. That's not part of the admissions process. It's not anything that they use to determine your acceptance into their um, institution. But what you can do is that once you have been accepted, you can take your IEP and five or 504 plan to the Office of Accommodations and still receive the accommodations that you were receiving in high school um, in some way through the where you'll be attending. Um, and that's kind of important to, to do because you've had those resources and you've had those accommodations I highly encourage you to continue that throughout because that, that you've been very accustomed to that if you've been able to have that. You don't wanna kind of go in and yank that rug out um, as you're starting a new adventure in a, in a college or university. So you do have that option. Again, you would just request your final um, IEP or 504 plan from your case manager. And if you have questions about that, you can always talk to your school counselor as well, just to have, they can assist that as well. All right. Okay, so now it is time for College Applications 101. So here's the most important thing you have to remember, students. You are the driver of your own application. So it is up to you to really take the lead on this. It's a big step in your life. You're making next decision plans. And so you need to be a part of and be engaged in all of the things that you're doing related to this application process. As a parent myself, I know you want to get involved and be a part of the process, so that's very positive, but make sure your student is leading the way. So you're going to need to set up some necessary accounts. That's one of the first steps and most important, and um, we'll go through some of those processes as we move through the week, but Parchment, Common App, Common Black College App, Coalition, and then college specific ap applications, so what they need themselves, and then the FAFSA information as well. So these are all things that you're going to hear your counselors talk about. You're going to hear us ask, have you done this? Um, have you started these accounts? So it's very important. And this is something you can do right now as a first step while you're kind of in that August mode. Make sure though you know all of your passwords and that you have them when you're meeting with your counselor. So some type of way for you to remember everything, whether you put it on your phone, 
phone um, or whether you write it down and take a picture of them, some way for you to remember all these passwords because you're going to need to access these accounts at different times when you're having meetings um, with your either career counselor or your caseload counselor. So make sure you note all of the application deadlines. Super important. Um, as with all things, you don't want to wait until the last minute. So you need to kind of know when are your applications due, for which college, for what type of application that you are going to be um, applying for. So it's really important that you have all of those dates and a clear idea of what your timeline is. Start early. Um, so you can start this, app this application process early, start looking at the colleges that you're thinking about applying to, look on their website, see what they're asking for, make your necessary accounts, and you can meet with your school counselor to discuss um, their part of the application, such as the recommendation letter, which we'll discuss in a minute. So you can start early. All of your counselors have a way for you to sign up to meet with them. So I recommend you do that as soon as possible so you can get on their calendar and you can start having these conversations. Check the class of 2023 in Schoology for the most up-to-date information, including scholarship opportunities. I cannot stress this enough. If you are one of those students who have just kind of been using Schoology and as, a, as a tool for class stuff and not really checking out the announcements that are posted, start looking now. Start reading them. Start making sure that you're definitely seeing all the things your counselors are posting and that your career counselors are posting because every piece of information is going to help you with those different um, parts of the process that you're going to be going through. So those messages are really important. They help keep you up to date and in the know. Okay, so getting started, you need to start thinking about your decision plans, the college decision plans. So there's three different options that you have. So basically early action is if you receive an early response from a college, but you don't necessarily have to give your um, acceptance until more of the later date of typically May 1st, okay? Early decision means, and that's the ED, Early decision means that you are telling that college, basically, I want to go to your school, and if you accept me, I'm coming, okay? So you have made that commitment that you've applied to them early decision, and you want to go to their school. And then regular decision, and that's the typical process of college admissions. You need to make sure you know what the dates are for your particular college. And then typically what that means is you hear an answer before typically or by April 1st. So that's kind of the breakdown of those three things. Um, the college application, parts of the college application, the whole student, make sure that you are showing them everything about you that you can. This is your time to brag about yourself. This is your time to tell someone all the things that make you who you are and make you a qualified person and why they want you as their student. So please make sure that you are really putting information in there that describes you, that helps them understand who you are as a whole student and not just your academics and who you are on your transcript. So for recommendations, what do colleges wanna see? Well, they're gonna wanna see um, someone who is able to give a clear picture of who you are. So it's really important for you to think about who in your world, in your academic world, besides your school counselor could write you an ac academic or um, personal recommendation for college and tell them who you are as a person and why you would be a benefit to their classroom and their school. So think about the teachers you have good relationships with that know you maybe on a, on a more personal level and that can really give the college a good idea about who you are. And the other important tips, I mean, we have a ton of tips coming up, but um, basically just make sure you're aware that the process is starting, that you communicate with your parents and with your school counselors, and that you ask for help if you don't understand something or if you don't know what to do next. We're all here as a resource. Your career counselors are an additional resource. I've put all of our um, emails in the chat, so feel free to reach out to us with any questions or concerns. All right, now we're gonna talk a little bit about each high school and the college application checklist. 
and a little bit about what that process looks like. So we're gonna start out with Atlee. Um, so first and foremost, seniors, it's important to know that your school counselor will meet with you individually in September and or October. And they're going to meet with you about your college applications, kind of what are the colleges that are on your list, um, and also just talk with you kind of about the whole process and how it runs through Atlee School Counseling. Um, the next point there, the counselor recommendation packet is so, so important. Um, that packet is due September 21st, it's a Wednesday, and Ms. Coyard sent this packet out on uh, August 11th through Schoology. It's also linked here in the slide, and as we've said, we are going to be uh, sharing these slides out later this uh, afternoon, along with some other resources, but I want to tell you a little bit about this packet. So it's really to, the counselors use it to complete their portion of your college application, and they also use it to write letters of recommendation for you. So it's so, so important that you take time in completing this packet. Um, there are two sections in this packet. The first is a section that you will complete on yourself. It includes information about activities that you've been involved in, your high school experience. It will ask you just general questions about your experience and any information that you would like your counselor to know to help them complete that college application for you and to help them complete your recommendation as well. There's a second part also for your parent or guardian to complete. And it asks them a couple general questions about you too so that they can share any insight or information that would be helpful uh, to your school counselor. But most importantly, remember it's due uh, Wednesday, September 21st, as I mentioned. Um, and when you click on that link, it will actually ask you to make a copy. So you make a copy for yourself. You're going to put your first and last name and save it that way kind of in Google. And then once you've completed it, you're going to share um, that entire packet with your school counselor through your Google Gmail account. Um, we've also listed there the different uh, counselors and their email addresses. So when you get to the point of requesting a recommendation from your school counselor and things like that, just make sure you're using your counselor's HCPS email address. Again, we've listed all of them there, but all those little things, little points are kind of very important when you're going through this college application process. So truly dotting your I's, crossing your T's, and just making sure that you're being very careful about filling them out. And that's really what we're here to help you do as well. And we're gonna help you through that process. But as Ms. Bolander mentioned just a few moments ago, you're the driver and we're all here to support you. Your school counselors, career counselors, all of us. And, and we can't wait to help you with that. Um, also that last bullet there about scheduling a meet, meeting with our GRASP advisor, for filling out the FAFSA application. That's the free application for federal student aid or financial assistance, loans for college and that type of thing. We all have wonderful resources at our high school, a high school's a GRASP advisor that will help you through that. Um, and we're actually gonna hear from our GRASP advisor from Atlee on Wednesday of this week, but she's gonna share information that all of our GRASP advisors um, and kind of what they do and how they can help families and students through, through that FAFSA process. Um, for Atlee, uh, our GRASP advisor is Mrs. Patty Wood, and she can do virtual or face-to-face -face appointments with students and or parents and together, if you'd like to do it that way. Um, you can actually contact her directly at that email address we've listed there or call or text her at that number. She um, is starting to put appointments in her calendar for once school begins. So if you wanna get a jump start and reach out to her, please, please feel free to do so. That is certainly fine. Um, and like I said, you'll hear from her on Wednesday and she'll have lots of great information to share with you. So um, with that, I'm gonna pass it off to, I believe, let's see, Ms. Corbin's gonna share information from Hanover. Yes, yeah, so for all my Hanover Hawks that are on this call um, or watching this later, you will also have an indiv individual meeting with your school counselor in September or October. And like I said um, previously, we are going to be sending out these slides um, today. And there are links on here that show you who your school counselor is if you are not sure about that. Um, Parchment accounts were created during English classes in students' junior year. So you should already have access to that Parchment account. If you have never created your account and you still need your code, you can contact Katherine Bell in the School Counseling Office 
um, via Schoology. And her email is also kbell at hcps.us. Okay, and just let us know if you need that again. Um, a letter of recommendation or secondary school re report may be required by the college or university you're applying to. So make sure that you are asking your school counselor to complete any of those forms or write a letter for you or any teachers that you're asking to complete anything at least two weeks ahead of time. The sooner you ask them, the better. And don't assume that they're doing it already. Uh, make sure you have put in a request to them. You've talked to them about it. They know when your deadline is and they're gonna get that in for you, okay? Uh, our grasp advisor here at Hanover High School is Mrs. Jordan. So that's her email address here, Hanover at grassforvirginia.org. Uh, we also will have a link for sign up for appointments for her. She is here on Mondays generally, and I believe that's gonna be the same for this school year. So Mondays will be her appointments, um, but you always can reach out to her and she will contact you and let you, you know, answer questions for you about the FAFSA, about the financial aid process, about any scholarship opportunities that they have through GRASP. To make sure that you are reaching out to her um, and set up an appointment. Okay, so I'm gonna hand this over to Ms. Bolander to talk about Mechanicsville. All right, so here is our checklist and the things that you need to know. So you're gonna complete your uh, brag sheet and when you get this um, slideshow, you can click on that link and it'll take you right there. But you need to complete a brag sheet and submit it to your counselor by October 17th. So this just helps them get to know some information about you to help them with this process, um, especially that recommendation. Um, your school counselor is going to meet with you um, for a senior meeting in September, October, but you can always request an appointment with your counselor through that bit.ly link. Um, so like I said, you can uh, request to see your counselor or you can request to see me through this bit.ly link. Uh, and then here are your counselors and email addresses. So make sure you invite your recommenders. So if you need somebody to one of these nice people to do the school recommendation, the counseling recommendation, like we said earlier, make sure you give them ample time and that you communicate with them. No assumptions that they know that you need anything through this process. So just make sure you're communicating with them at all times. And then our grasp advisor is Mrs. Hassett and there is her email address if you have any questions or concerns. More information about what her time frame um, and how to sign up for her will be listed out soon and through Schoology most likely. So just an FYI on that. And I am gonna pass this off to Ms. Crowder. All right, so this slide is for my family members at PH. So the first thing that we ask our seniors to do is to review that senior handbook. And we'll have that link on Schoology and it also, um, you'll have the link when you receive these slide, uh, slides you later on. We ask that you complete a, a Google form, uh, a, recommended, a recommendation letter request form, if you would like your counselor to write a letter of recommendation from you. We do not assume that every student that is applying to college wants a letter of recommendation from the counselor or requires one. So we do not write one unless you specifically request it. Whoops, what my screen up like. Can you still hear me? Oh. Do you hear me? We can hear yes. you, Ms. Crowder. Okay, good, sorry, you. my screen just went blank. Um, so we do not assume that your counselor is gonna write a letter of recommendation unless you request it. Um, so we do, if you, if you say, I'd like you to write a letter of recommendation, the first thing we're going to say is, did you complete the Google form? Your school counselors will be meeting with you prior to October 15th, so all through September and into October. Um, and you can always sign up to see us. We'll have, um, a few, uh, we'll have a code in every classroom, so you can sign up to see us. Um, you must invite your counselors to be part of your application. And again, same as the other schools have mentioned, you have to use the at hcps.us email and your counselors are listed below. Um, we do have one new addition to the counseling department. We have Ms. McGrath, who has taken over the end of the alphabet, which I had previously. Um, our, GRASP representative, our GRASP representative is Ms. Semmel. She is new to Patrick Henry, um, and to request a, an appointment with her, you would call Ms. Osborne, who is the 
school counseling secretary, she keeps the calendar for her and she can be reached at the number that's listed at the bottom. But she keeps the calendar. And as of right now, um, we are assuming she'll still keep the same time frame, but we'll push that information out just as soon as we finalize it. All right. Quick question from the chat. So this question was, do we need to use the counselor recommendation packet if we already have our letter of recommendations? No. If you already have your letter of recommendations, you are good to go. Um, the only thing that you might still need to do is if you are completing an application through Common App or one of the other you know, coalition app, you probably still need to invite your counselor. Well, you do need to still invite your counselor because they have to be able to add your transcript and everything to the Common App and put in some information for you. So even if they're not writing a letter for you, they need to be on that application. But you do not need to complete a packet for them or anything like that. They're just going to get that invite from you uh, for Common App so that they can put your transcript in. Okay. I'm actually going to jump in as well. Um, for our Atlee Raiders on the meeting this morning, um, I did want to let you know for your counselor recommendation packet, you would need to complete it. Your school counselor is not able to work on your college applications or write a letter of recommendation for you until they have that packet. So I just, I'm really glad you asked that question, Chris, because I wanted to mention that. So thank you for that. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the Hanover Online School Counselor Checklist. So if you were on the, uh, if you are part of Hanover Online School, then you will review the senior handbook. Of course, all of you should be doing that. Um, your school counselor will also be meeting with you individually prior to October 15th. And your school counselor is Brittany Carr. So she is, her email address is right here, bcarr at hcps.us. So make sure that you are adding her to your Common App application or you know, other application that you might be working on. Um, she will be the one that will be completing that for you. So not your homeschool counselor, but Ms. Carr. Okay, and we, you also will have a grass representative that um, will be meeting with you if you're at the online school. Um, and I believe that goes through your home school. So if you are, for instance, your home school is Hanover High School, you would have Miss Jordan, okay? Um, if you are at Patrick Henry, you would have Miss, is it Semo now? Um, so make sure you're, you know who your home school grass representative is and they are happy to meet with you. Okay, and for the Georgetown School, um, just want to share a couple points with you all as well. Um, if you are attending the Georgetown School, be sure that you always use your home school's information to set up any accounts, parchment, common app, um, any other college application accounts. Make sure you're using your home school's information. And then always make sure that you're paying very close attention to all the boot camp information that we're sharing, any information that's shared through Schoology, for your homeschool as well. Um, just make sure you're reading those notifications and updates as Ms. Bolander said earlier. We can't stress that enough as so much imp important information is gonna be coming up between now and through you know, your senior year for sure. Um, as well as for our juniors too. So just make sure you're paying attention to Schoology. Um, and then if you're still thinking, you're not really sure you know, what your plans are for after high school, whether that be college or trade school or going into the world of work, whatever that is, it is not too late by any means. Um, that's where I was saying earlier, we are all here to support you and, and want to do that and going to do that. Um, your Georgetown School Counselor, Miss Liz Beatley, who's wonderful, as you all I'm sure already know, um, she will be available and she's going to be sharing information with you all at the beginning of this school year about different opportunities, just so you can learn more about that. Um, and again, we're all here to help. So thank you. All right, it looks like we're in our, this is our final slide, but again, if we had any outstanding questions that we haven't answered or any that you all have, if you, you can certainly put them in the chat now. Um, as we mentioned, uh, we're gonna be sending out these slides later today, along with the resources for today as well. And then we're gonna be uh, posting this recording out for you 
tomorrow. So all of those things will be happening in our next session, virtual session is tomorrow, Tuesday at 10 a.m. And uh, it's college essay writing with Randolph Macon College. So we really hope that you can make it out to that. And if not, we'll be recording it so you can watch it later. So any more uh, questions, Ms. Bolander, that you see in the chat that we haven't gotten to? All right, so let me see. So the question is, so just to double yeah. check with you, Ms. Edwards. Yes. Do So at least students need to fill out, they definitely they need do. to fill out the counselor recommendation sheet. So if yes. you're an at least student, you need yes. to fill it out, even if you don't need a recommendation from your counselor, correct? Well, well they use that information also. There's like um, a counselor section, typically in the counselor, you know, in the college applications. So um, a supplemental counselor section. So they do use that information to help them through that process and to complete the entire um, college admissions application for their students. So it is very important, yes. So answer is yes. Um, and if you have any further questions beyond today, please feel free to reach out to me, reach out to your school counselor directly and we can certainly answer them. But thank you for asking that, yes. The next question is, what is Parchment and Common Act? Great questions, and we will get into those more, you know, throughout the week. Um, but parchment, if and I, I'm wondering if the student is a junior or senior who's asking this question. Um, but parchment is what you send your transcript through. So you, if you don't have a parchment account already, then you should be uh, reaching out to your school counseling department to make sure you know how to set it up. Um, which school are you at? The student who's asked. I see you're a senior. Senior uh, Mechanics. Mechanicsville High School. Okay, so Mechanicsville, you set up your own account in Parchment. Um, there mm -hmm. will be instructions that we're sending out this week on how to set up your Parchment account if you haven't already done so. Um, so you do not need a code or anything. At Mechanicsville High School, you just go on and you'll be creating an account on Parchment if you haven't already done so, okay? So those instructions will come out uh, via Schoology this week, so make sure you're checking your class of page in Schoology, okay? If you wanna get a head start on that and don't wanna wait for that to come out, we have the instructional video on our um, YouTube page, our Hanover Career Counseling YouTube page. So if you just type in Hanover Career Counseling, it'll come right up. Um, and there's a playlist called HCPS College Bootcamp, and you can find lots of videos in there. One of them is the parchment instructional video. It'll show you how to walk through setting up your account, and you can go ahead and start requesting transcripts for your colleges. If you are applying through Common App, you do need to send your transcript to Common App, not to the individual colleges, okay? So make sure you are doing that. Um, Common App, what is Common App? That is uh, an application that you can use to apply to lots of different colleges all through one application. So basically all of these colleges have partnered with this application so that you can put in all of your basic information one time and not have to com keep completing the same information over and over and over again. So you're completing all of your information in one place and then the, you'll just be able to list which colleges you want to apply to. And then those colleges will have some specific questions geared towards them but the majority of the application is all in one place, if that makes sense. And if you have more specific questions as you're getting started on that, um, we do have a tutorial video that is on our YouTube page. We will be sharing that out again. But if you have questions, you know, as you're meeting with your counselor or reach out to one of us, and we are happy to walk you through it um, in more detail. All right, that right. looks like all the questions we have today. Great. Well, thank you all. You've been a great group. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, we hope that today was helpful and informative. Um, feel free to please, again, reach out to us beyond today with any questions that you might have. I believe we put our emails in the chat earlier, so feel free to use those and touch base with us if you need anything. And again, we hope to see you back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. for our college admissions essay writing session with Randolph-Macon College. So thanks everybody, have a wonderful day and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye.